Welcome back to another episode of Peter McKinnon's Package. This video is sponsored by Nomadic. Part four. How many parts? In a four part series. How many parts of Peter McKinnon's Package? Peter McKinnon's Package. First episode Peter McKinnon's Tasty Package, Copy. Peter McKinnon's Shiny Package, Filter. Peter McKinnon's Fat Package was his original travel bag, and this is Peter McKinnon's Everyday Package. We changed it up this time. Am I doing the unboxing? my lion gauge. Yeah. The lion gauge of shame. Oh. This is gonna work. Ooh, okay, so I feel like I'm gonna do this a disservice. Becky loves the packaging of everything, so I'm just gonna pretend that I'm her. Oh my god. Look at this custom black box with the Pete's Pirate Life logo on the side. Such a good branding moment. No, no, they didn't. They made custom ziplockable reusable bags. Wait, wait. Oh yeah, no, hold on, no, no, hold on. This is not your unboxing. This is what she'll do next. Mmm, new Mac smell. Even though it's not a Mac. You can't say that if it doesn't smell like new Mac smell. Here is the main event. Wait, wait, you didn't even say. A frosted bag, the black logo on the frost, the scale of the logo. You didn't even compare. Look at this two different. We have the Here, frosted. You want to do this unboxing? You no. do this unboxing. I can take my lunches in these bags. You know? It's a big lunch. I'm a hungry boy. That's wow, cool. that's a nice looking bag. Satin black texture with the subtle waffle print. Let's take this. Wait. This pocket will not be part of the final bag. Don't show this pocket. You didn't see the bin. You didn't see nothing. They're starting a Kickstarter, so this bag is just a prototype. There's a few changes. I guess this pocket will not exist. But other than that, you can check the Kickstarter. We'll leave a link in the description box. Yeah, so we got a laptop sleeve here. There is a top compartment for all your sort of like grab and go stuff. Oh, look at this. The Pete's Pirate Life logo. Is it embossed or embossed? Ooh. <gasps> oh! Oh my you god. You like the compartments, don't oh you? Oh my god. You can access this little flap here. Oh That's, my this god. is nice. This is nice. Oh, okay. Episode 4.2 of Peter McKinnon's Tiny Package. Oh, look at this. How do I step into it? <laughs> you don't step into it. Enough room to fit a camera and probably two lenses. This is, yeah, this is very useful. Okay, all right. These look nice. Let's take them and try them out in a real world use case. And obviously, if it's a Becky and Chris video, then we have to go in the helicopter. Oh my god, I hate this. <laughs> Always looking for an excuse to fly. When Nomadic reached out to ask us to partner with them on this video, I was super excited because we are big fans of Nomadic bags, not just the previous Peter McKinnon Nomadic travel pack, but I swear by the 40 liter duffel bag. It's my favorite travel bag ever. When we did the Cold Island trip, I used a 40 liter duffel to pack clothes for two weeks and just fell in love with it. I don't really like backpacks that much, but I did like the look of their backpack. It looks like a little jetpack. It's very futuristic looking, like a little spaceship. So I like the way it looks with scrubs. So I use that actually every day. I've been using it probably a, uh, as my work bag for probably the last year and a half now. Sometimes when we're going in the helicopter, we're not, we're not taking the full kit. We might just be going on a little adventure. And so we want room for the camera, but we also want room for snacks, room for layers, sweaters, hats, whatever. And so this bag is almost like the perfect use for that. So we're gonna put it to the test today. Got the lunch. <laughs> I made a joke about taking my lunch in it. Now you actually took our lunch in it. Yeah. Picnic blanket. Okay, so last time we made a video about the, the shots like, this is awkward. We're gonna look at this at the beach. Thank you for making a camera bag that matches the Millennial Falcon. Perfect match. Seatbelt fast, the doors closed and latch. Buffalo Airfield traffic, helicopter 300, Whiskey Zulu running up behind the hangar. There'll be air attack in order to for, for a straight out departure, Buffalo Airfield. I love uh, lifting up the first time. Got the wind up our arms now. Oh my god. Buffalo Hill traffic helicopter 300 Whiskey Zulu is airborne from point two four straight out departure of Buffalo Airfield. Beach looks so nice. Actually, the closer you get, look how it's ratty. Yeah, we, well, let's look at the color of the water and not necessarily the actual sand. Yeah. <laughs> Something I love about having a camera bag that just works. I like the idea of having a lesser amount of higher quality items. So like fewer things, but higher quality things. We actually had so many camera bags at one point in our lives and we pared down before we moved. Yeah. Like you end up with so many bags. 
And I think like the journey to finding the perfect bag, like, I mean, God, I've been shooting photos for 15 years. You've been shooting video for longer. Like the, you're always on this constant journey to find the perfect bag. Packing a camera bag is like really fun for me and satisfying when it works. Pumped on this everyday one. Like this sounds so salesy, but like, honestly, this is my, my honest, true feelings. Like this bag is probably going to be the perfect bag for this type of scenario. It's basically customizable. Then as soon as you need something bigger, you just switch to the travel pack. Yeah, do you see the place? I don't know what it looks like. There it is. Windy. Yeah. I got so, my bird deflectors on. We came down the coast and landed on this beach. And we can't really travel, so we might as well just make our own beach vacation here, our beach lunch. Even though the pandemic's happening right now, we are starting to wrap our heads around our next big, big helicopter trip. We learned a lot from Cold Island and what we took, because we took a way too much. Trying to kind of dial in our camera bag situation, our gear situation, so that when we do this next big trip, it's not as cumbersome in the pack as Cold Island was. If you want to check the series out, I'll link it up here. The sling bag down here works wicked. Yeah, it like snaps closed with this little elastic. So that's really great. Put all my stuff in there, my phone, my drugs. So I could put some snacks in there if I wanted to. So you can hear the wind like whistling through here. To pop out and see what it's like. He can fly helicopter in, but can he fly an FPV drone in it? Probably gonna be too windy to put our blanket out on the beach. Probably about a month early for beach picnics. Food time and then bag time. But you gotta tap your toes so you don't get sand in the heli. I'm overwhelmed. It is so windy out there. It's I was picturing this nice like picnic on the beach. Eat up with the water crashing, you know, gently smooth crashing waves. Now it's just like the wind's like <laughs> seagulls there just like gliding. He's like hovering in place because he's able to get enough lift from the wind. I'm hungry. Be surprised if I told you that I bring my lunch to work every day and never put it in the refrigerator. Um, I'm not surprised. I'm <laughs> horrified by that. I have never horrified. gotten sick once ever. There was a quesadilla incident. My chicken sometimes stinks, you know? It smells like farts. Fart salad. I don't know why I'm reading it. I'm the ones you're holding. <laughs> Initial thoughts on the bag so far. I very much like the bag. I think it's really comfortable. I think the shape is fantastic. Love how it stands up. I think it fits the right amount of stuff. It's versatile. The fact that the camera cube can be removed, the fact that they have that like loft piece that goes up and down to expand the top section, that's super handy. Oh, that, I've never seen that before. The thing where the it bends down. Yeah, that's a completely new concept, I feel like. Yeah. I feel like it's hard to innovate in the backpack space. I do like the look of this bag. I would wear this bag. And I also like how they've, you know, kept with the same branding. The nice touches. Pete's Heart Life elements. Yeah, and you're seeing that Skull logo over and over and over again. It's a nice experience. It is, yeah. yeah. Something else I really love about the bag is that it is stiff. Some camera bags are really thin and kind of flimsy. This one is stiff. It stands up on its own. The shoulder straps are really thick. I haven't worn it for a long period of time. But, but yeah, the... but she was wearing around the house the entire morning. Yeah, because I to wanted try to, to try to see. Yeah, exactly. I was full of gear, had it on my back, walking around the house. Ooh, it doesn't even feel like I'm wearing anything. <laughs> it like, almost, yeah. Who is she talking to? When you're traveling and you're, you have 50 pounds of camera gear in your bag, you had to wear it on your back and you're trying to balance it on your luggage and it's falling off. So now this just kind of slips over the top, which is huge. Having the two pockets on the side for the water bottle and the tripod, that is a massive deal for me. I would give up side access any day to have two pouches like that. The bag that they sent us did not have a strap to hold the tripod in place. And I asked them and they said they are hoping to have a strap. But other than that, I think it's a great bag. I think the size is fantastic. A lot of you guys in the with the last bag were wondering what it looked like on a female body. As of 2016, the average height for American women 20 years old and up is just under five foot four wow. inches. Wow. So yeah, so the concern is real. Kind of what it looks like on my body. I am 5'10". Um, so I am a bit larger than normal people. I am taller, but the bag is definitely a great scale and it doesn't feel big at all. It's not too small that you can't fit your kit in it. I think I can fit a camera with a lens on it, a body and two lenses, and probably more than that, like comfortably, um, plus like a sweater or whatever. But the chest strap is always a must. It's something I look for all the time in a camera bag. This one has it, which is awesome. Yeah, I thought the sling was kind of a nice 
addition too. <laughs> that was a really aggressive maneuver you just did. I mean, that's that's kind of also getting back to what I was saying about how like opening is an experience and there's just so much tension to detail. It can be a standalone small kit camera bag, but it's also great for just like everyday stuff here in the front in the helicopter. And this would be great for a road trip too, where you just have your like essentials, mm -hmm. your phone, your charger, you know, extra batteries for your, your camera, modium. your modium. You can have a bunch of stuff in there at the ready and you can leave it open and just use that a little elastic to kind of keep it closed without having to zip and unzip every single time. So it's kind That's of quick handy, access. Um, if you guys want to back the Kickstarter, I'll leave the link in the description box. Um, obviously no pressure, but if you like the bag and you think it would be a good fit, check it out. You can buy the bag um, with the camera cube that I have or with different size camera cubes, or you could buy just a sling. There's a bunch of different packages there that you can back. And I think October is when they're slated to release it. So probably just in time for restrictions, hopefully if things go well to be lifted with the pandemic and we'll be able to start traveling again. I think we're going to head her back to Buffalo. Let's go. We're going to go back to Buffalo. Back to Buffalo. On this windy day. Yeah. Oh man, it was fun. We got to fly. Yeah, it's true. We had to land on a beach. Got to land on a beach. Mm. Got a little break from the housework. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. And we're off. Ooh oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Ugh. I'm like afraid a wave is gonna come and hit your skin. There's, and no, us there's no waves, there's no rogue waves here. Like a typhoon. Supposed to end the video. Right now? Yeah. Oh my god, okay, we're gonna end the video. Thanks so much for watching. If you wanna check out the Kickstarter, link is in the description box. Thank you so much, Nomadic, for sponsoring today's video. If you like the video, check out the link in the description. And if you wanna see the rest of this flight, you can uh, watch our Hellyscapes episode. Link up here. Oh my god, I hate this. Helly <laughs> Hellyscapes. <laughs> Woo, Jesus. <laughs> Did you injure yourself? We got Dramamine, which is my go to. Omeprazole for a bad gut. Acetaminophen, extra strength. See, like, look at this here. This is some nice compartments here. What are you, what are you laughing at? Dramamine, non drowsy. Peter Kinnon's cod piece. <laughs> <laughs> You're fired from uh, I'm fired from <laughs> Are you this kidding like, me? This Peter is... McKinnon's cod piece. Anti-diarrhea pills. All right, well, welcome back to Peter McKinnon's everyday package. I'm gonna shut that over. I have my concoction of my C-bands and my one airplane. Hey. So, excuse me. Welcome back to another episode of Peter McKinnon's package. Is that bum? Right. No, 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 no. What is this? I can't just pee anywhere, so I have a disposable urinal, and uh, camera's toilet paper. There you go, laptop sleeve here. You gotta show it to the camera, you dingus. Nobody can see it. Chill out, eager. <laughs> Eddie's coming.